What? Good morning. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video with your boy, Thick Whips. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Hope you were all having a fantastic week, fantastic day. Today, I have a friend of mine, Lewis, who is coming over with his Sakir Orange F80 M3. We are actually flash shooting his car with boot mode, I believe stage two. Um, not sure if he got the bundle or just stage one, we'll find out. But he just did downpipes on his car, catalyst downpipes and he has that check engine light for the catalytic monitor, so we're gonna go ahead and turn that off, tune the car, go for a little drive, get his reaction, should be good. And the Secure Orange is such a, oh, it's one of my favorite colors on the F80 M3, and I feel like it's largely slept on. I feel like a lot of people don't really acknowledge the Secure Orange, but that color is sick. It's so unique and so different, and when done right, it looks really good. If you guys are interested in this process or getting boot mode, I'm gonna link a video right here that kind of talks about boot mode and how to flash tune your car. It's an ECU flash for BMWs, honestly, a killer tuning platform, probably the largest out there for BMWs. Um, they cover so many different cars. My Supra is currently flash tuned by boot mode, and I'm gonna be doing a custom map through boot mode with an actual tuner. You can do a lot of stuff on it, and there's so many different kinds of maps like readily available. If you guys are interested in it, I'm gonna have all the stuff linked down below um, to where you can get it. I usually get mine from Keys Motorsports. The process is super easy. You just need a computer and then an OBD cable to ethernet port or USB, depending on what kind of computer you have. Get your activation code, plug it into the car, unlock the DME, flash tune it. It's so easy, so easy. So let's head out to the garage, meet Lewis, and get this flash tune started. All right, in the garage, getting everything set up for Lewis's F80. You guys are obviously gonna need a computer. Um, I'm gonna show him how to do it via the phone, the boot mode app, and then also on the computer. I always like to start with unlocking the DME via computer, and then on the fly, anything you wanna change down the road, do it on your phone. Typically, I only flash using my phone now since this is unlocked, and obviously it's far easier just having everything. One of the big reasons that I love using boot mode is that all of my maps, all of my tunes are cloud-based, so anywhere in the world, no matter where I am, I can access my maps. Um, I can go in there and change the settings, the verbal settings, the actual tune itself, flip over to different maps. If I'm at a gas station and I'm putting in E30, I can switch over to the E30 tune. I just like having that accessibility no matter where I am. I think that's a big selling point when it comes to boot mode. They're also gonna be releasing the rolling anti-lag, the map switching on the fly, and I also think the app is going to be wireless as well, so then we won't even need to have that OBD2 cable. But it's really not that difficult to just plug in the cable anytime you wanna change a tune. It's not like you're changing tunes that often. So you know, if I'm out on the road and I run out of meth or something, or I forget to order more meth, I can go ahead and switch off my meth map, um, so I'm not running that super aggressive tune made for meth. Or if I run out of E30 fuel, I can do that. Boot Mode is also gonna be releasing like a flex fuel system as well that I'm gonna be running on my Supra. So that will also be interesting. All of these updates, when they happen, I'll update you guys and make videos on them so you are in the know. Let's go ahead and pull out the Supra so we can pull in the F80 once it gets here. All right, so this is the cable I was talking about. OBD2 port to ethernet. So if you have an ethernet port on your computer, you'd use that, or you could get like an ethernet to USB adapter. And then for the phone, I obviously have an ethernet to lightning port adapter. And I just keep this in my car and plug it in and flash whenever I need to switch up maps. Pretty simple. Sick. It looks good. This thing's clean, dude. HREs, secure orange. Cool. Mm, manual. The proper transmission. Yep, you're good. You're good. You're good. That's good right there. Thanks, man. Jeez. This color. This is so sick. It's like a burnt orange. HREs. Dude, what a beautiful, beautiful car. This thing's freaking sick. How do you like the dining? It's pretty good, man. No this color is unbelievable. God, it's such a good looking color. It's the thing is, like, you don't see that many people driving this color. Nope. Like, it's very rare. Looks really good, man. I love it. 
How are you liking it so far? I love it, man. Some carbon on there? Yeah, this thing's sick, dude. HREs. Is it lowered? It is. What is it lowered on? It's, um, HR spring. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful, man. Such a beautiful car. And a manual. The proper transmission. So sick. All right, so we're getting stuff set up here. I'm gonna set the computer up here, but he's got, man, what a beautiful spec. You said it's a uh, 17? 17. 17, 2017 manual F80 M3 and the beautiful Sakir orange. God, what a cool car. So he has the Active Auto Works equal length mid pipe, uh, dine in rear section, right? Yep. And then who makes the catalyst downpipes? Active. Yeah. So Active Auto Work uh, cat catalyst downpipes as well. So this thing's gonna rip, man. It's probably gonna make really good power after a tune. A tune really opens it up and then he has the check engine light going on because of the catalytic monitor. So we're gonna be able to clear that as well once he tunes it. Um, so he's going, he's actually logging into his stuff right now. And then we're gonna go ahead and plug the computer into the ethernet to OBD2 port. Because remember the OBD2 port is right down there. And then it's a good idea to have the seatbelt fastened also. Beautiful speed cloth, notice that. Good idea to have the seatbelt fastened while you're doing this as well so the car doesn't go into sleep mode. And then we'll put the car into diag mode or accessory mode. Just hit start twice without uh, touching the brake. And we can go ahead and start tuning and the tuning process is really easy. So he has not tuned this car before so we have to unlock the DME which generally takes about 10, 15 minutes um, depending on your Wi-Fi signal. I do not have Wi-Fi in here, so I use a hotspot on my phone in order to access internet. Um, that's totally fine. That's usually how I tune cars. And then from there, it's as simple as flashing on the fly. So he can uh, he can just get that ethernet to lightning port adapter for his iPhone and then just flash whenever he wants with different maps. Very, very easy. So this paint is just gorgeous in person though, man. Wow, such a beautiful car. All right, so we just got him hooked up, put in the activation key. You can see that we are connected here in the portal. You guys wanna make sure that you have your driver downloaded. It'll say agent OBD connection is up. Now, what we do is we're gonna hop into menu here and we're gonna go to, so if you go into my maps, you'll see that he has his stock tune here. Um, but what we're gonna be doing today is under OTS maps. Um, and you can see they have a lot of different options for the S55. Um, you guys can go ahead and pick whatever option you're going with, stage two. So we just made all the changes that we want to his 92. He's gonna do a stage two 93 octane map. So we're gonna go ahead and flash it. Like I said, we have to unlock the DME. So when you, when you first flash it, you gotta unlock the DME first. You won't ever have to do this again though. Yeah. Um, so from here on out, it's actually really simple. All right, so just flashed in stage two on his M3. I was explaining to him how to use everything and it's really straightforward with boot mode. Um, from here on out, he'll just be using the app. That's the beautiful part about it. We're gonna go for a little ride here. Uh, it should be a pretty big difference going from stock to stage two. Now he'll really be able to take advantage of all these modifications that he's put on this car. Look at that paint, man. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. But tuning it is what really is gonna help out with all the boost and the fueling and everything. So first reactions with the F80 M3 tune, he can already feel the difference. <laughs> we haven't even really like taken any pulls or anything. Sounds good though. Oh yeah. Sounds really good, man. I, uh, I thought it would be a, a little bit louder. It's it's pretty reserved. Yeah. It's nice. I like it. So he has the Active Auto Work Catalyst Downpipe, um, Active Auto Work Equal Length, equal length Midsection, Midpipes, and then the Dine-In Rear Section. Yeah. Um, the Dine-In Rear Section is pretty reserved. I had that on my M2. And actually, I love the way it sounded. It sounded really good. <clears throat> Back to the manual transmission. <laughs> Rips. <laughs> Rips. That feels good. That feels good. The S55 like really comes to life when you tune it. And I was just explaining to Lewis that, you know, you can have all these bolt-ons, but you're you're not really taking advantage of those bolt-ons until you tune the car. Um, once you tune the car, it's an entirely different beast. <laughs> hey, you 
tell a difference? Absolutely. <laughs> I love I love filming reactions after tunes because they're like it's such a different car, like so different. So we went with the OTS burble setup. Seems to be pretty pretty uh, relaxed. It's not too crazy, you know. And I don't think he wants too crazy. This thing feels good, man. This car is really nice. And you're running the you said Dynan Springs. Yeah. No, no, I'm doing or the uh, H and R Springs. H &R, yeah. It's got a good ride to it. It's not too low. Um, you could definitely daily do you daily this car. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's got the kid seat in the back. Clearly, daily is this car. <laughs> what do you think, man? I'm loving it, man. <laughs> so we're gonna have Lewis back on the channel here soon. Uh, we're gonna do a little feature film with his car because he's got some cool stuff on here, and I think it'd be a good one. We've never done a secure orange. F80 either on the channel, so this would be this would be neat. <laughs> Rips. This car feels good. This car feels really good. It's a totally it's different, car. A different car. Yeah, it's uh, it's a different animal, man. Once you tune a car, dang, it's very very different. It sounds good. This thing rips. <laughs> it feels really good. And the S55 is always like that top end power. It always has that like crazy pull in the top end. It feels amazing. Well, we're gonna go for a ride in the Supra. I'm gonna take him for a ride. But uh, you guys will see him again on the channel soon. And like I said before, you know, if you need any of this tuning stuff that we're talking about, be linked down below. All right, so now we're gonna go on the Supra and experience that. That transmission is on point. Yeah, it's quick. It's man. like, it's, damn. The ZF transmission is impressive. <laughs> so if you actually, now I know. If you look up, <laughs> now you look I up here, you can see. So now he gets to go home and experience this car, freshly tuned. Look at that, gorgeous. <laughs> that thing sounds good. Another BMW successfully tuned. <laughs> You know they enjoyed it when they drive away and they're like ripping down your street. Yeah, you go enjoy that, buddy. <laughs> that car feels great, man. So easy to tune those cars. So easy to tune it. And I think I explained it to him really well. He grasped the concept of tuning the car like that. It's such an easy process. Anyways, guys, if you need any of this stuff, boot mode, um, the cables, any of that, I'll have it linked down below. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.